53 minutes past the hour. Here we are at uh, Tropical Update Time, and because we are all things tropical, let's start you off in the Central Pacific, where we have had, for the first time since 2010, the first storm that's actually developed in this region. It is Pava, right up and through here. And in case you're a betting man, it's about uh, 4,000 plus miles from uh, Las Vegas, but more importantly, about 1,475 miles from uh, Hilo, and continue to move to the west, and there's no threat to the United States. All right, back to the States. Uh, again, Aaron, in case you're just joining us tonight, is now a tropical depression down from uh, yesterday's tropical storm. It's it's gone poof. Invest 92L and through here is still interesting to me, and it's one of those things where I just don't trust it until it's on shore. I, I just, you got it. This is a dangerous part of the uh, uh, of the Gulf of Mexico here, so until it's on shore, I'm, I'm not going to be able to put my computer down for the weekend. So here's uh, Aaron, tropical depression at 35 miles per hour, estimated pressure at 1,008, moving west-northwest at about 17 miles an hour. And yeah, that's that's it right in through there. Not much uh, with it, a couple of uh, showers and thunderstorms. And interestingly enough, a big thunderstorm complex, which has come off the coast. And one must wonder, are these two systems lead blockers to just kind of maybe moisten up the atmosphere here a little bit so that when the next waves come off, they won't have to deal with all that stable uh, air. And that's a, certainly a possibility. We've seen this in the past. Again, right now, the, well, Aaron is working its way around uh, a subtropical ridge, so it's moving almost uh, as much north as it is west. You can see that here on the satellite picture here, and it will continue to do so uh, as all the forecast models have pretty much come into agreement with this. Uh, we don't think it's going to strengthen all that much, and quite frankly, over the next couple of days, there may not be much with it at all. Uh, forecast calls for it to continue to move over a little bit more warmer water, and interestingly enough, down here, the water was actually a little bit cooler west of the Cape Verde Islands. Remember, the flow comes down like this, so we tend to get some cooler water sometimes that sneaks down here. This is certainly more prevalent in what we see in the early season, and that's why oftentimes we don't get systems developing out and through here in July. But uh, usually by August, this is gone, and it is all replaced by uh, low 80 degree water temperatures. But this year, maybe uh, again with the stiff easterly winds that we've had out and through here, we may have a little bit more upwelling than usual. Not only do we have that, but we also have a lot of dry air that has been uh, very, very prevalent this tropical season. And there's no question some of that stable air has gotten into the system. And as you can see, it has more to go. So tropical depression area again is forecast to head off to the west northwest, but uh, doesn't have a lot of hope with it and no chance at all for uh, any impacts to the United States at present track at present track and strength. Uh, we don't see any impacts potentially to the United States. All right, guys, so what we'll be doing over the next certainly weeks to come, we'll be watching what happens here with these waves as they come off Africa. Again, right now, again, my biggest question was, is all, this all a big primer for this region? And that's uh, certainly something to note, especially if a wave were to follow this pretty quickly. Into Invest 92L we go. Winds are estimated at 30 miles per hour. Pressure is estimated at 1,009 millibars. And actually, it may even be higher than that. Some of the pressures that I was looking at down here are up around 1,012. So that's a little bit high, quite frankly, for uh, what we would expect, well, especially with something developing. Still, the National Hurricane Center are giving this a 60% chance of development over the next 120 hours, 50% um, chance over the next 48 hours. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with this. And here's a look at at least the near-term high-resolution model showing something trying to go down through here, but really not much. Uh, as a matter of fact, what's more interesting to me is the wave that they try to develop on the old front. And so if you're watching us from New Orleans tonight or even Mobile, Pensacola Beach, get ready for a soaker coming up uh, as we head into the weekend here. High-resolution visible satellite image showing some type of center here, even though it's broad. Uh, off to the south and west of where the upper center is. You can see that associated with this upper air low here. So these two are decoupled. A lot of times you're going to get the rising air motion on the east side like we have here and the sinking air motion here. And until these two separate really, which may happen later on this weekend, uh, this system to the southwest off the Yucatan is not going to have a chance to develop. So right now, no harm, no foul, but something certainly we'll keep our eyes on this weekend.